September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had, I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Ugh. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Alright, we're at a laundromat. Shift to sprint. Some flies. Who this? Bleach? Excuse me? Where did you put it? What is this place? Where is the bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah. Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. Noah, wake up. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? Does it matter? Can you do this now? I got this. Roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. I got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your but to work. Wow, that's a pretty tough dad. I hope you know I'm only in it for the for the snacks. What's up with this music? It's already gonna be this creepy? Fake rope. Oh! I've learned my lessons not to mess with dogs. Is that a... Amanita Mascaria? Is that a... Does he have uh, psychedelic mushrooms? It's gonna... Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, alright, we're good. I don't want any part of that dog. That's a Rottweiler. Alright, we're in. So it looks, um, I had to pee. Go to the bathroom. Wow, this is a large, large home. Whoa, it's shooting, uh, okay. Good aim. Wash hands? Guess we don't need to. 
Alright. So there's a cat. I'm honestly jealous of Ava. I know, just had the weirdest dream ever. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. Kid, I really appreciate you doing this. I, I'm sorry I had to leave early, Mr. Carson. My bad, it's Roy. Got the contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really, haha. <laughs> He's my dad. Oh, the restroom's right here. Alright. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house now that I'm here for you. Here you... Now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Okay. Oh, so the dog is sick? Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If he could get his dog food from the basement, right on it. The basement was a little too dark. Yeah, it really is. Is there a light switch? No. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Why does the fridge always scare me? Hey kid, heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up here. Mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at, but he wanted me to look at the computer. Oh gosh. Yay! <laughs> Um... Guide to being a better person. Talk and talk. Directed by Alec Carson. This room. Gotta talk. Don't be rude. Being rude will discourage you. I 
think you have a virus. Okay, there's gonna be someone staring at me. Free trial for limited period. Get full protection. Okay, so we just get an antivirus. Got it. Who would have thunk it? Uh, perform a full scan. Big Blaine. Big Blaine. So bright. Security threat. Troj O's. Let's remove that threat. So we're good. Let's take a look at the, um, oh, okay. Wow, we got a night mode. <clears throat> oh, let's see with this guy. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download softwares from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Evelyn. Uh, she wants to know what my dream was about. Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Haha, <laughs> yeah, hold on. So, I'm gonna check out... Watch the TV. But I kinda wanna see... Where his cams are. This guy's definitely a voyeur. The night vision is pretty cool, though. Me, you. Hello. Welcome to Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking. <laughs> I love movie cat food. It's my favorite dish. Are you watching it's cat food? And it's my favorite dish. Hehe. <laughs> Doesn't that just look delicious? We can't eat this. It's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. I don't get it. Like a baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh, lucky baby. Okay, now while wow, that's cooking. Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey advertiser. sometimes. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. To start, we pour the milk into the glass. Next, we dip the cardboard into the milk. Alright. Um. Look at that. Doesn't that just look nice? Also, I think you should get the gro okay, groceries the before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in, the, in my start. nightstand. You want know, me to get this some ranch, amazing. strawberry jelly, bro? We're done with that show. Hello, I'm the hand uh, Ranch, strawberry jelly. All right, Evelyn, just stop talking to me. Garden peas, honey, rice, ketchup. Don't forget milk and eggs. All right. 
Uh, what are you saying? I got, uh, there's some cash in my nightstand. There we go. Got some skrilla. Got some ducats. Got some sm some cheddar. <clears throat> Alright. Where would I get groceries? For your trouble. Get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you. Uh, where would I get groceries? Maybe that bike? I mean, I don't see a car or anything. Yeah. You can take Alex's bike. It's outside by the garage. Alright. So they really want us to live this whole experience out. Alright, right side. I apologize. Oh, there we go. 9.22 p.m. Oh, we're really... Okay. This is like a 7-Eleven. This is not a grocery store. Who buys groceries at a 7-Eleven? I mean... I'll stop judging. Hey, son, do you work here? I'm just here shopping. Ha, huh, okay, son. Why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for some life for the life of me. Do you know where it is? I told her I'd get the mustard for her. There you go. Very well, there it is. Ha! Give mustard. Thank you, son. You're welcome. Can that lady stop humming? Ranch strawberry jelly. Ranch. And speak of the devil. Turner and Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. Oh, I'm a guy. Okay. Bro, your girl was just here. She just left. My girl? Who are you talking about? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. He hopped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. Goth milf energy. Are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? House sitting f for this guy Carson? Yeah. You mean at Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Whatever fills my pocket I'm in for, it sounds super desperate. Yeah, you guys have fun. Alright, dude. See you at school on Monday, then. See you around, Andy. Catch up. Alright. Should I build this for you? Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good day. Or a good one. the groceries in the kitchen. Like I said, I had to get on my schoolwork for Monday. Alright, homework time. Hold on, where did my flashlight go? Maybe it's
I kind of hear someone like snoring or breathing. You know, I'm gonna check the, the old CCTVs real quick. No, there's no one in there, okay. Dogs in the doghouse. I think we're okay. Let's do our homework, right? I really just had to pee first. Come on, bro. This urine's really yellow. He needs to, uh, to hydrate. Okay. I'll put the seat down. Andy Reynolds. Is that who we just talked to? Dude. You said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson, divorce on the internet, right now. Uh, Roy Carson, divorce. He killed his wife, didn't he? Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Just... that? Roy Carson, yeah, yeah. Hunter News, it's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alisa, Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown. Wait. Okay, yeah, he's receiving... Oh has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Just looks like a standard delivery guy. I'm not going to be... My dad said not to open up the door. And so we're going to stick by that. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of... Um, Roy Carson? Leave. If I die, I'm gonna be mad. Because it's not, like, giving me options. You know, like the other ones, he'd break the door down or change his dialogue, but with this... Oh, scare the crap out of me. Here. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat, no. Oh, I understand. Well, you have a good day. Are you serious, bro? Thought I could watch some TV while eating. All right, it's about to get super spicy at this point. Uh, 
Oh, hold on. TV on. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. I just hear noises of like people coming in. I'm gonna get murdered. Look out for some pizzas. What was that noise? It should arrive any minute now. have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. What is going on? If you tell me what the radius of two squares is, I'll think about it. Hope everything is okay. No, I'm here. My name is Jack Bardens. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. This is such a weird. Can I use the bathroom? I heard someone at the door again. Just, let's just finish the pizza so we can get done with this. Dessert? I am dessert, bro. <laughs> oh, what? What? Why is there a weird girl? What is that on the ground? Okay, there's a lady. All right, it's his ex-wife. She walked around the corner. Oh my god, dude. Wait. I'm starting to see things now. What if she's right there and just... That would have been an epic jump scare. And she just kills me. I heard something. I knew there were flowers. Unknown sender. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Oh, I assumed it was the wrong number. All right, we're getting back on the cameras. Meh. This is what I'm curious about. Can I just do my homework? It's a tough way to make a hundred bucks. Oh, we go. Engrossment. What does that mean? One thirty-six a.m. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Oh my god. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, then I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? Mr. Carson apparently had power back up for his security system. I just knew the guys like him very well. Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was in the house sitting alone. Why'd the power come back on? <clears throat>
The dog is gone, dude. Oi! I saw someone walking. Oh, the security system is backed up. Hope she didn't hurt the dog. Did the dog just go to bed? You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. Oh my god, someone's right there, dude. I hear... You had to get back to your schoolwork? Is the, is, that the, is the dog snoring or her? I keep thinking after yesterday's game that the person can hear my mic. So I'm being all quiet. Oh god, things are gonna get real. I heard something in here. Nothing. That got knocked over. That's what it is. She's in the house. She knocked over those things. To uh, pre calc. Do you hear that? Oh my god. I heard a door open. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't but I just didn't want to overthink things. No, we're gonna die, dude. You're right. If you have a Rottweiler, a Roddy outside, you bring him inside at this point. Oh my god. I heard something downstairs. Dude, she's right. It sounded like she was right next to me. Wait, I just saw something. Why is she so stealth? I saw her right there. I don't want to go down and check. You do it. Oh my god. This Rottweiler is so useless.
I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Low key, it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. Ain't no he, man. I think it's a she. I had to confront him. You ain't gonna do anything. I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Dude, it's not who you think it is. Escape the text, Andy. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. We're all gonna die. I attributed all of that to lack of my sleep. Dude, you... The stupidity of some of these people. I was aware I have the tendency, whoops, the only logical thing I could think of at this time was to keep an eye on the security monitors. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Yeah, dude. But at the time I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that the, na the idea never entered my head. There's just certain people in this world where you, you know, you just wonder how they... Oh, the door's open! What's Andy saying? I hear footsteps. Dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. I know, Andy. Dude, I hear her breathing. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, she's down the hall. I have frozen kept stuck on the screen in pure horror. Oh my god, she's right down the hall from me. She's coming towards me now. She's checking every room. Oh no, what do I do? She has a knife. She was right outside the door to the room I was in. I thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. Noah, are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. What is going on? What do you want? I've always been nothing but nice to you, but you always treated me like crap. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. This is exactly why, but I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know I could turn you into the police for this. 
do it, and I will effing kill both of you. If I can't have you, no one else should. My sight oh, uh. in that moment, I had to make a run for it. <laughs> Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play effing dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door, we just need to talk. I can't not talk to her. I've always been nothing but nice to you, but you always treated me like crap. Oh my god, here we go. I know everything. I know you left me for her. See, I have to go into this, okay? This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? Deserve a second chance. Alright. We this is do it and I will effing kill both of you. Oh my god. If I can't have you should. Noah. Noah's not here. and kill both of you. If I can't have you... the house and ran down the block, my dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. Oh no. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. 
However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough and had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course, the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that... The fact that, that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out, she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long...